Hello everyone, another edition of Walking and Talking. Haven't done one in a while. If you've watched these before, you know why. Because I'm a real wuss when it comes to walking outside. I would say the uh, bare minimum would be maybe upper 40s, completely sunny with no wind. You might get me out, otherwise no. Now today, perfect day, right around 60 when I'm doing this, walk on the Sequoia Trail, Sequoia Park, loaded with people, parking lot absolutely full. Beautiful for early February. And uh, last of the snow from almost two weeks ago can still be seen in a few piles, but it's just about on its way out. So, another nice day, beautiful. Chinese spy satellite. Okay, so I think uh, another video on this in a little more detail coming from me is something I might work on later this week. I can't produce it today. But, you know, a meteorologist's perspective on that, I think some of the main questions you want to ask yourself is, is if it is a covert device, I might have some issues with the head just from a, a weather standpoint, uh, not knowing exactly what was on the payload of that thing. You know, it's probably not the brightest way to go about collecting information, just off the cuff. And, and it's also another opportunity to talk about balloons in general, weather balloons that are launched, well, twice a day all over the country, all over the world, and uh, how they might differ from the balloon that crossed the United States. So some things we can talk about probably in a different uh, video. The other thing I've been doing here recently is doing either pre-recorded or sometimes live what I call upstream weather. And you may have noticed that um, I posted a few of those. Upstream weather is just my way of kind of giving you a heads up about changing weather. Are they going to be on a regular basis? Nope. As you might expect, depends on the weather. <laughs> Would I publish them once a week? No, I could have done one here today, but there really isn't anything coming up that's all that significant. And what I mean by that is, you know, ice or snow, uh, a very, very strong weather system in general, or uh, severe weather of the thunderstorm variety. You know, if it doesn't fall into those categories, then it's probably nothing you're going to have to worry about, which would be something I would want to warn you about or talk about. If something is going to change in your life here in the Ozarks that you need to know about, that's when you'll see these uh, upstream weather reports. And so look for those. The other thing I'm doing is publishing more of my jazz piano. Just to give you a really quick background on this, um, <clears throat> when I play, I play to a backing track, almost always high reel. Um, and so that takes care of the drums and the bass. I turn the piano down and then I play. Now, I'm still learning this, but I decided to start putting myself out there more just because I really wanted to have sort of a reference for later. So when I come back to a song and see if I've learned anything else, but what you're gonna hear when I play this this will make sense to musicians. Uh, I play a lot of rootless voicings, a lot of uh, shell voicings. Actually, I avoid the bass note pretty much. And here's why I do that, because my live experiences at the dugout, um, I'm, I'm an accompanist. So in other words, I'm not really responsible for the bass note. It's not, it's not saying you can't play it, but I don't play it often, or I don't put that note at the bottom. And so that, you're gonna hear that. And then you're gonna hear, what I'm trying to work on is more melody, to establish it because I realize that I know what these songs are but without playing the melody at least the first time around you guys may not um, and then you're gonna hear a solo at least one time through and a solo is just a way of just taking the melody coming back to it every so often but really taking a lot of liberty using the chord structure to just make something that sounds hopefully pretty good and it's almost always going to be ad-lib and never the same twice so if you see these and I just decided to call them, you know, noodling on piano. If you see these, this particular one is just going to be jazz standards. And I may expand that later as my piano skills increase. And that's the whole point of this. And I hope you leave the comments on those videos letting me know what you think. You know, because it means a lot. And it's not meant to be professional. And uh, hopefully one day it will be. It's really meant to be just well. The title suggests noodling around, seeing what works and what doesn't. There's going to be mistakes in them. Uh, to be sure. Anyway, that's pretty much all I had to say today on the walk. Just going to enjoy the beautiful weather here today. So be looking for, you know, maybe something on the on the Chinese balloon. Uh, weather updates, probably nothing this week that I can, that I see the following week. Maybe, actually. 
and then um, my piano, jazz. And that's it. Everyone have a wonderful rest of your weekend.